welcome thank you for connecting as we study god's word regarding humility we've seen that god wants us to imitate his son the lord jesus who walked in humility uh, we see that god wants us to choose obedience surrender and humility and to also regard others whom he has positioned in our lives and today i want to encourage us to continue in humility let's look at the passage from 1 peter chapter 5 verses 6 and 7 it says therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of god that he may exalt you in due time casting all your care upon him for he cares for you therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of god that he may exalt you in due time we've already seen that we need to humble ourselves before god we humble ourselves before god when we walk in his ways when we are uh, submitted to what the word of god says when we choose to pray and invite god into every circumstance and every situation of our lives when we um, express our humility through our acts of worship such as um a fasting or um giving and things like that so we we express our humility uh, in all of these ways and we're also told that there can be some situations where we need to choose humility you know instead of uh, of coming across as um you know boastful and um, self will we we do the right thing and we leave the results to god and trust that god will work everything out uh, for good on our behalf and you no know, we all encounter situations like that and i believe the writer here is talking about uh, uh, these situations where he says when we make a choice and walk in humility there will come a time when we will re- reap the reward of humility when god himself will exalt us and in due time it says so we need patience along with humility we need patience to trust god it's really an act of faith to wait upon the lord and continue to do what is right in his sight you know as we look at um, uh, the lives of people like hannah you know hannah uh, in the bible had uh, uh, a lot of taunting you know uh, which which she need she had to face um uh, from uh, penina her um uh, uh, the other wife uh, of elkana uh, but then you know, we we see that she chose to go to god with her situation and and continue to humble herself before the lord and trust him that it will be god who will give her the reward of a child and we we see how god rewarded her and she uh, came through victor victorious through that opposing uh, circumstance of her life and similarly in the story of esther we see how you know, mordecai you know, he was somebody who was doing the right thing and uh, though he had done good for the land uh, and the king uh there were plots which were trying to um bring him down and yet you know god was a god who brought down the proud but god exalted uh mordecai in due time and so there are many such examples in god's word for us when people chose to do what is right and they waited upon the lord and in due time when we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of god god himself will exalt us walk in faith walk in humility let's pray together father we thank you for um the encouragement from lives of different people lord we know when we trust you when we do the right thing lord that you will bring exaltation our way father we we praise you in advance for it in jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.